Hello to my wonderful friends and partners on Facebook. I pray you're having a great day today. I am. Hallelujah. I'm driving today in Los Angeles. And uh, I want to just spend a few moments with you talking about something really exciting. But first, I want to thank you for being my wonderful friend and my partner. You're the greatest, by the way. The best partners in the world. That's you. Let's pray. Let's believe the Lord for a good day today for all of us. Blessed Jesus, I pray. Bless your sweet people. Anoint them today mightily in the name of Jesus. For even as I'm driving today, I'm expecting miracles for your people, your partners, Lord, they're your partners. For you bless them, meet every need in Jesus' name. And God's people said, Amen. Well, you know, I love teaching when I'm driving because it kind of relaxes me. Somebody said in one of the comments a few days ago, I didn't know Pastor Bainer drives. <laughs> I drive all the time. I don't like people doing things for me. You know, I, I'm kind of very independent. Sometimes I'll have Timmy drive here, especially if I have to be on the phone working. Or, but a lot of times I drive myself because I enjoy it. Anyways, let's, let's talk about seeing faith. The story in Genesis. Oh, hallelujah. I want to shout glory to God. Somebody say amen. Amen. Tim is over here. Tim, just say hello. Hey, him. everyone. We'll let him see you first. Hey, everybody. Sometimes he gets so excited, he starts talking in tongues. Amen. And, anyways, here's Abraham inside his tent having a bad moment. He was discouraged that day. And he looked at Eliezer and he said, is that all I got? <laughs> You like that, don't you, Tim? That's so funny. When it's true, he was yeah, sitting yeah, looking yeah. at Eliezer yeah. and wondered, is this all I'm going to be stuck with? Yeah. And he said, Lord, what will you give me, seeing I go childless? And the Lord said, uh-oh, we have a problem. we we got to change his vision right now. Because he was seeing emptiness. You see, faith is something we see. Because Abraham said, Seeing, what will you give me? Seeing, I go childless. And the Lord said, "Now we have to change his vision." So what does God do? He says, "Okay, Abraham, come, come out of your tent, and look up at the sky." It was at night. He said, "Count the stars, because you can't see stars in the daytime and count them, anyways." So it was probably nighttime. Maybe it was a late hour where he was just discouraged. The Lord said, come, come out of the tent and change your vision. And then he began counting the stars and came to a place that, Lord, I can't count no more. There's too many. So shall thy seed be, the scripture says. And he believed God. Now, you cannot have a miracle unless three things happen in your life. Number one, information. Number two, observation. Number three, operation. God will not cause the operation, that's the miracle, without you having observation. And an observation means you observe, you see it. And that's all found, by the way, in Joshua chapter 1. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you'll meditate therein day and night. That's information. The thou must observe, observe. That's observation. The third thing God said, now you're going to have good success and be blessed. That's the operation of God. So think about this. Abraham had to see it before he could get it. And when he saw it, everything changed. It was after seeing his miracle, God declared him righteous. It was after seeing his miracle, God changed his name. To Abraham. Now, here's something powerful. The minute he saw it, God changed his name. Because the, 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 the minute you see a miracle, you declare it. So watch this. God says, Now your name is no longer Abraham, your name is Abraham. So what does Abraham mean? The father of multitudes. So every time Abraham came and said, Hello, 
My name is the father of a multitude. Shake hands with somebody and say, I'm the father of a multitude. He was declaring God's promise. It's important to understand the power of declaration. Declaration and vision come together. The second you observe, you'll declare it. So, but the first key is, opera, uh, is the uh, information. You have to receive the word of God before you can ever see a vision. So, yeah, observation is important. Seeing their faith. The Bible says about the Lord in the Gospels, seeing their faith. Faith was, 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 was being seen, literally, in action. Seeing their faith, he saith, this is Matthew 6. Seeing their faith, the Lord says, so, sorry, uh, Matthew 9, verse 6. Seeing their faith, he said to the man, your sins are forgiven. Rise up and walk, he said, that live. But the important thing, by the way, I love teaching the Bible while, while I'm driving. I have a great, great time. And I love talking to you, by the way, because you're the greatest. Our partners are the best in the world. Hallelujah. Well, anyways, he saw their faith. Abraham wasn't seeing faith, so God had to change that. He was seeing emptiness. He was seeing nothingness. And God said, we have, we have a problem. We, we, we have to change this now. So he had him count the stars. And then he declares, so will your seed be. Now remember, remember, that right after that is when the devil tried to interfere with that. When Sarai said to Abram at the time, she said, well, I'm getting too old. I'll give you my maid Hagar so you can have a boy. And that was a mistake. But God did not stop it from coming. Why? Because that would have been used later for a, a revelation be, between the law and grace. And Paul used that in Galatians. He said, Hagar speaks of Sinai. Hagar speaks of the Old Testament. Isaac speaks of the New Testament. Ishmael speaks of the flesh. Isaac speaks of the spirit. So God allowed it to happen to, to really influence our lives to understand our salvation. Because you, you and I would not have understood our salvation with, without seeing, seeing the law first. That's another amazing, powerful truth that one day I'll teach on. Like, why did God give the law? Over 300 commandments, why would God give? Over 332 to be exact. Why would God give that? To reveal to us, can't do it. It was a school that, that, that basically revealed, I, can, I need God's mercy and grace. There's no way I can be righteous by obeying all these hundreds of rules. But that's, that's Hagar. That's Ishmael. So we need the Ishmael to understand the Isaac. We need the Hagar to understand God's promises. And that's for another time. I'll, I'll, I'll teach on that later. But what I want to talk to you about today is how important it is to see your miracle. Because when you see it, God will do it. If you don't see it, God will not do it. But how do you see it? By reading the Word. You have to receive information before you have observation and before God will bring about the operation of the miracle in your life. So begin to read the promise. And when you read the promise and you have the observation, declare it. Numbers 14, 28 says this. God says to Israel, He says, As you have spoken in my ears, I'll do it to you. What you say, I'll do. And what, what they were saying is, Well, we're, we're grasshoppers. There's giants in the land. We can't do it. We'll never go in. God says, Okay, just because you, you said I'll not go in, you're not going in. So we have to declare the word of God before God will do it. And if we declare the negatives, God will do that too. So we got to be careful. And remember something, remember something. The devil cannot hear our thoughts, but he can hear our words. So don't give him any ideas by the things we say. We, we give the devil ideas. Be careful. Your words, there's life and there's death in them, as the Bible says. So it's important today to understand what I'm saying. You have to receive information from the scriptures 
then you have to see the vision like Elijah said to Elisha if you see me go up then you'll receive it vision is so vital vision is so important to us because every miracle in the in the Bible they had to see it before they received it that woman with this of blood said if I may touch the hem of his garment I'll be whole she saw herself healed Jerry said to the Lord come lay hands on my girl and she shall live she'll be healed he saw his miracle before it ever happened the centurion said speak the word and my servant shall be healed he saw it happen so it's imperative that we see our miracle when you read the Bible my goodness I feel the anointing on this man call man hallelujah when 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 you read the word and and that faith is triggered in your soul see it happening in your life and declare it declare that God will do it and don't stop till he does it and then you'll see the operation hallelujah blessed be the Lord God Almighty my faith still holds I want to sing a song I feel it my faith still holds unto the Christ of Calvary oh blessed rock of ages cleft for me I'll gladly place listen I'll gladly place my trust in things I cannot see wow. hallelujah I'll gladly place my trust in things I cannot see my faith still holds unto the Christ of Calvary it's the invisible so what is faith faith sees the invisible faith believes the incredible and faith does the impossible bring that phone closer to me so I can say it again so they can hear me good faith always sees the invisible my faith still holds on to the Christ of Calvary oh blessed rock of ages cleft for me I'll gladly place my trust in things I cannot see so invisible we see faith will always see the invisible faith will always believe the incredible and faith will always do the impossible so today that's all I gotta tell you today I just wanted to lift your faith today to the heavens hallelujah listen listen we all have troubles in life you think I'm immune no way ask them <laughs> do I have troubles Tim yes sir how often we have troubles how often 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 but you have to believe God's word if we don't we're all in trouble that's right I believe the scriptures oh dear Lord I'm persuaded Paul said that he will keep that which I've committed unto him against that day if I give him my life I know he'll keep it if I give him my children I know he'll keep them if I give him my future I know he'll take care of it so trust him today trust the Lord listen even while I'm driving I'm telling you this begin to read the scriptures begin to see the scriptures Begin to declare the scriptures when you see them. And watch what God will do. His mighty operations will begin in your life. It begins with information. Information will birth observation. And observation will birth operations. Glory to Jesus. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, I want the people to say to you. In fact, why don't you write it down for me. In a comment, just put praise the Lord. I tell you. Because there's power in praise. When you start praising the Lord, He'll do it for you. Well, blessings to all of you. I'm having a good time talking to you today as I'm driving here in Los Angeles. And I want to let you know, can I please shout? Hey! Hallelujah! Uh. Anyways, I want to tell you about our brand new network. Love World USA is a reality. It's on the air. It's on cable. Spectrum Cable. Go ahead and look us up, and we're there. If you have Spectrum, you can find us. And Love World USA is focused on the power of God. And tell your friends about it, please. We're already on. We begin July 1. And uh, this is with Pastor Chris Goya Kilomi. He and I have partnered together to launch the network. This is not in place of what I'm doing for the Lord. This is in addition to what I'm doing to, for the Lord. 
Benny Hinn Ministries continues. I'm still traveling the world, ministering the healing power of God. I'll be in New York, August uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. I'm in New York. And then I'm in Europe, uh, the end of August, right through September 10. I'm going to Belfast. I'm going to Holland. I'm going to uh, France, before actually France first. Paris, France first with Pastor Abraham. Then I go from there to Belfast, great massive conference. Then I go from there to Holland, another conference. Then I go from there to uh, Germany, Berlin, Germany, sorry, Bulgaria, and then Germany. Bulgaria with my friend, uh, Pastor Maxims in Sofia, Bulgaria. And then we go from there to Berlin. So I'm still traveling the world, but Love World USA is in addition to all that. I'm loving it. I'm doing a lot of live uh, programs. Uh, Pastor Chris Oyekilome, my dearest friend on the whole earth right now on the planet. I love that man dearly. Uh, he and I, the Lord gave us a great vision to launch this network that uh, is dedicated to showing up God's power. Today I was talking to Jeff about putting some of the great things that I've seen in my life. Uh, the uh, what we call the Oral Benny project when Oral Roberts oh, and I came, yeah. came together and did a whole project on miracles. We'll be airing that next week. My interview with Oral and his life, uh, the uh, entire teaching on the on the on the tabernacle we, we did in Orlando will be also on. So a lot of m wonderful teachings, Pastor Chris. Also a lot of his events will be on uh, every night. In fact, you will see that next week. But anyways. Thank you for your love and your support and prayers. And look us up on Love World USA on Spectrum Cable. Love you much. Shalom.